Hi everyone, this is me. So I just got back from my first holiday in two and a half years to my favorite city in the entire world, Bangkok, Thailand. You can see behind me a whole stack of books. So that is for my next video. And this has to do with my normal content about the MXTX world. But for today, I thought I'd introduce you to a new show that I just started watching a couple of days ago. And I just love it so much. And it is a Thai BL series called Kin Porsche The Series La Forte. So a quick introduction to Thai BL, which is a very, very popular genre around the world now. I have only watched three Thai BL series so far. So the first was Together the Series, starring Bright Pachira Witt and Win Meta Win. And it started showing at the beginning of 2020, just when COVID hit us all. And it was such a charming series. I still love it till today. And that was my first introduction into Thai BL. Subsequently, I watched Tan Type, which is also very popular. Now that stars Gulf Kanawat and Mew Super Sit, but I did not like that series at all. So I kind of wandered away from Thai BL for a while. But more recently, because there was a lot of hype, I also watched Cutie Pie the series. I watched episodes 1 to 9, and then I watched the final episode. I also did not like this series. So if you really want to hear why I didn't like these, let me know in the comments and I can do another video. So I've been a bit wary of Thai BL shows for a while now, but my God, Kin Porsche is just so unbelievably good. I mean, I was really, really blown away. So Kin Porsche the series is produced by Be On Cloud Production and in conjunction with ITE, the Chinese web streaming platform. For all viewers, whether you're Thai or international, I highly recommend that you watch it on ITE because that's where the uncut version is. You do need to pay for VIP in order to view this series. Now, I'm currently paying $7 for a one-month subscription. I will have to renew it until the series is over, but so far, that's about a dollar an episode and it has been so worth it. I do not regret it at all. Even though I would really love to binge watch this series, I think that there's a certain charm to this slightly old fashioned format of needing to wait for a new episode each week. I think it comes out on Saturday or Sunday. I really need to check. But if you want to binge watch it, then wait till July when it's over, buy a one month subscription, binge watch the entire 14 episodes. It's a very reasonable length. And for the rest of the month, you can watch Luoyang with Feng Yipo in it. As of filming this video, it has aired up to episode seven and I binge watched the whole thing in one and a half days. There are 14 episodes in total, one episode a week and the last episode will be on the 10th of July. So this sounds like a really tropey setup, you know, rich man and you know, down and out bartender get together and become a couple. But I promise you it's not. This is a real mafia story about a mafia family and it has a very gritty storyline, very compelling, full of action, full of movement. And that is really what pulled me into this story. The production is very well done. They obviously have some money invested in this because it is very cinematic and really looks very rich and almost movie-like. The story is very well scripted. It's very tight. There are no, you know, awkward scenes that are put in just so you can move the romance along. Everything makes sense. Even the seemingly random scenes will eventually come together or at least hint that something is going to come together towards the end. There are no sudden injections of morality and values that can sort of disrupt the storyline. It's a very clever and subtle drama that lets the audience come to its own conclusions. The characters are also very well written, not just the two leads, but all the side characters as well. Now, the cast is predominantly male because it centers around this group of mafia bosses and their bodyguards. But there are so many characters and each one is so unique and lovable in their own way. 
So I think the drama has done a very good job of providing us with a diverse range of male characters and there will be something for everyone. Now the mafia boss, Kin Tirapanyakun, is played by Mai Pak Poon or Mile Pak Poon and he is a 30-year-old actor. And the role of Porsche, the bartender stroke bodyguard, is played by Apo Natawin who is a 28-year-old Thai actor. These guys are gorgeous! My preference was initially for Porsche, who is tanned and swarthy, you know, has fantastic bone structure, absolutely delicious to look at. But as I started to watch the behind the scenes and interviews, I started to like uh, Kin more and more as well because he has the most fabulous smile, which he doesn't show that much in the drama because he's supposed to be this very hardened uh, mafia boss with a heavy burden on his shoulders. I think the two leads are doing a really fabulous acting job. Now they come from different sides of the track and they have very different lives but they each carry a certain uh, burden and responsibility that is very heavy. They have their own lives and problems and responsibilities just like everybody else. It is very gritty and very real and very believable. They just happen to be gay or bi. Their relationship is such a slow and satisfying burn. And I love the way this show approaches the romance. In some of the other BLs that I've watched, the romance is what propels the story along. And sometimes there are some awkward scenes or things that don't really make sense in order to push the romance. But it doesn't happen in this show at all. The storyline remains the main focus. And the relationship between Kin and Porsche progresses very slowly and not kind of in a linear fashion. There are, you know, fits and starts and problems along the way, but they fit in very naturally and are so well written into the script that you can go for fairly long periods without sort of thinking about the romance. And then when it happens, it fits very nicely and naturally into that part of the story. The production takes its time letting this relationship develop and as I watched it, you know, I could really follow along with their relationship. So for those of you who really enjoy uh, romantic shows where the focus is on the romance, you might think this is not for you. But I promise you that if you are here for the romance and the love and the steamy scenes, it may not be as frequent as we saw, for example, in Cutie Pie. But let me tell you, it is so worth the wait. They have such beautiful, tender scenes between them. And when it gets steamy, just watch out. I mean, it really blew me away how well they did both the soft romance as well as the hard romance. I can't stop saying it's so worth it. And in some other BLs, when the two leads start to make out, I don't always find it fun to watch if I don't believe in their relationship. But because of the way the relationship develops between Kin and I am completely there for them because I believe so much in their relationship because of the way it has built up. And you know, I'm one of these who's standing on the sidelines cheering them on with my pom-poms because I really want them to get together. But I know this is not going to be so easy because the story is still kind of in the middle and there are a lot of things that need to be sorted out before these two can really be together. And I don't mind because this makes it even more watchable for me because in real life, just because we fall in love with someone, it doesn't mean that the rest of the world stops. Because in real life, when we fall in love, the world may stop for a few seconds, but real life really does go on. And this is where I think the Kin Porsche narrative does it so well. You do want them to get together, but you also want to see the story continue and 
find out what happens next. I love the little details, like how they are not sure of each other and there's a little bit of awkwardness, they don't really dare to look at each other and then occasionally there'll be, you know, a little look, a little touch. I mean, it's so sweet but not sappy. The other thing I really liked about this pair is that they are real dudes. And I need to explain what I mean by comparing it with some other shows. So for example, Together the series with Bright and Win. I love those two boys so much. But to me, they were boys. Um, experiencing love for the first time, very tentative, very sweet, very young. But in Kin Posh, these guys are men. They're not boys. This is very mature. And they behave in a mature manner. So there isn't any of this, you know, slightly silly rom-com flirting and teasing and mind games with one another. This is a mature relationship between two men. And episode 6, when they get lost in the woods, is just amazing. I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it again. As I mentioned before, there are a host of other characters and I really like a lot of them. But two that I wanted to mention in particular were the two actors that actually play Kin's brothers. So there's Tong Taneyut who plays Tan Kun, uh, Kin's eldest brother, who is kind of a flamboyant queen. But he is so funny. I mean, he really made me laugh and I don't think it was kind of a gratuitous kind of laughter. He really plays the role well and he adds some levity to what can be a very serious and slightly violent and gory drama. But he does it so well and he is so lovable. He is so batshit crazy but funny at the same time. I really thought the actor did such a good job. The other actor that I think must be reeling in fangirls and fanboys and fan people by the droves is Jeff Sutter. He is a young actor and musician who plays Kim Tirapanyakun, Kim's younger brother. He is so gorgeous. After I saw him in a couple of episodes, I quickly went and googled who he was, listened to his music, watched a few of his interviews. I mean, this is a charming young man, very good looking, um, very fashionable. So I can't wait for the next episodes and based on what I've seen for the first half of this drama series, I think it will be worth it. I really hope that it continues to build and to climb because this drama has so much potential. And since I finished watching the first seven episodes already, of course I've fallen into the rabbit hole of watching the behind the scenes footage and the special interviews and the cast reacting to the episodes and it's all been really fun. But one thing that I think has made me enjoy the series even more, so I've watched quite a number of interviews that feature the two main leads, Mile and Apo. And what I really appreciate is that you can see that they formed a certain chemistry while filming the show and there's a certain respect and affection for each other, but there is no romance in real life. They don't feed into the fan service that has become very much a part of BL series in Thailand and which is something that I'm very uncomfortable with because I think characters should say characters and you know the actors playing them should be themselves and whether or not they're in a relationship in real life is really nobody's business. They shouldn't need to continue this romantic storyline off screen just for you know, fan service or commercial reasons. So when I watch them, I really like the two of them. I'm glad that they formed a friendship that enabled them to turn out such good performances, but there's no need to feed the craze for this couple. So if it isn't already blatantly clear, I highly, highly, highly recommend this series, Kin Porsche, the series La Forte on ITE.com. Watch it, you won't regret it, I promise. So till next time, take care and stay safe everyone. Bye!